Hey friends, today I'm going to give you some Hope World book recommendations in honor of Hobie's birthday. So as you might have already been able to tell, me and a couple of friends have been doing bookish videos on the BTS members' birthdays and today is Hobie's birthday and we're doing Hope World recommendations. Hope World is Hobie's mixtape and we're matching books to the songs on this mixtape. I am incredibly excited about this. I have loved all of the birthday videos we have done so far because it's so fun to just see everybody's takes on these different kind of prompts for these birthdays. So I'm just super excited to do the Hope World recommendations today and to see everybody's videos to see how people have approached it and just see people's explanations for the books that they choose for these songs. Now if you are a BTS fan, which I am kind of usually assuming if you're watching this video, although I know there's a couple of people and it means a lot to me that do watch these videos who are not into BTS as well, but for those of you who are into BTS you will probably know that, you know, the album drops this Friday and we are gonna do a video themed around that as well and then obviously we also have Yoongi's birthday coming up in March and obviously there will be a video for that one too so you know stay tuned for that but uh, for now let's celebrate Hobie's birthday again I'm super excited I love Hope World I think that all of the mixtapes are so different but there's always one that will just be there for you in a certain time of need you know but just in general hope world is my favorite it's the one that i just enjoy listening to the most it's the one where like the music in and of itself just speaks the most to me and so again i'm just very excited and then also Hobie is my bias i <laughs> took a little bit of time to really come to terms with it Hobie was my wrecker for a little while but I realized relatively quickly that like my love for Hobi exceeds record status. I know that Taeyong's my alt and so like I just knew there was no way that you know anybody could overtake that spot but my love for Hobi has just come to a point where I can definitely say he's my bias as well and I just love him a lot and I just think that he deserves so much love so he is my bias and it just all means a lot to me and I'm just so excited and just happy birthday to Hobie and let's just get into it. I am kind of, I mean, I'm always nervous with these kinds of videos because things are up to interpretation anyway. And then when it comes to something like this, where it's like, it's music and it's lyrics and it's translated lyrics, it's kind of just like, I hope I can just like bring across why I choose the books that I choose. I really try to kind of go for something where it fits both the lyrics and the vibe of the song, but obviously I will go into each song and each book and kind of talk about why I choose what I choose. And I just hope that it all makes sense and I want to give a shout out to Dolset, that is the lyric translations that I used. Uh, they are a really big presence on ARMY Twitter and they have a website as well with all of the BTS songs and the mixtapes and so much stuff translated and I just really trust them when it comes to translation more than I trust Big Hit <laughs> sometimes. And so um, I decided to go with their translations and I'm gonna leave a link to their website in the description down below so you can check that out. But then you kind of know that's kind of where I was coming from with just the lyrics and the translations that I looked at. Okay, that's enough intro, let's get into it. So let's start with the first track and that is Hope World. And for Hope World, I just really wanted to go with a book that first of all just has like really positive vibes that that gives me a good and positive and happy and wholesome feeling but that also has a character a main character that just spreads a lot of positivity and optimism and so I decided to go with The Summer of Jordi Perez by Amy Spaulding this is a YA contemporary with a female female romance at the center of it and the main character is just such an optimistic positive person and in general the book is just very summery and has so many like good and positive vibes on top of that this is about fashion and Hobie does have his very unique very interesting kind of sense of style so I thought that kind of fit as well but mostly it just really was more a feeling than anything again I just knew I wanted a character that you know, put out a lot of optimism, 
but this is very much just like I can see myself reading this book while listening to this song and so that just really worked for me. There is a little bit of like unnecessary drama in this book that I didn't love but overall I, I really love the book and I highly recommend the book and again I just think it is a really funny and fluffy and just positive read that I think is a great summer read and that will just really cheer you up and that's what I was looking for when it comes to a book that matches Hope World. Then next we have Peace of Peace. Now Peace of Peace is a song that has such strong lyrics. I really thought it was not easy. I mean it was not easy for any of these songs but I think with Peace of Peace I think it was the most hard for me to find a book that really encompasses everything that that song expresses. But in the end, I decided to go with Going Off Script by Jen Wilde. This is another YA contemporary, another YA contemporary that sent us a female female romance. And I also knew that for Peace of Peace, I wanted a book that's kind of like, you know, that has like happy and wholesome vibes for the most part. I wanted a book that could be a piece of peace for people. But then at the same time, I also knew that I wanted a book that had some really, really important messages in there. So I wanted something that like when I read it, it also like gives me a good feeling just if, as the song does, but then also where there is just so much more to it and where there is just some really important messages in there where it brings people peace to read this book as well because they see themselves represented in it or something like that and that to me definitely is going off script going off script is another book that to me wasn't flawless that i definitely had some issues with but it is a book that deals with sexism and racism and homophobia especially in the film industry but like just in like you know media in general and so i thought that fit very well and it just sends out this really good and positive and hopeful message about just like people being represented and just people being seen and i just love that i love that about that book and that for me very much fit with piece of peace i just think that people can read going off script and again just find some peace in this story and in the representation in there and the things that people achieve in there and the things that people are fighting for in this book and so I really wanted something like that and I thought that going off script fit incredibly well because it has like these several representations too and I also think that it is an incredibly underrated book that more people should pick up and so I really wanted to put it on this list again Definitely not a flawless book. I have a full review, so I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description, but still something that I highly recommend and that I think fits piece of piece. And again, it's also just like, I had another book for this. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. I had another book for this, but at the end of the day, for me, this fit lyrically. The book kind of expresses what the song expresses to me in a way, but then also still, again, reading the book is... A good experience and a positive experience and makes you feel just really happy and wholesome and I think that that kind of just fits with the vibe of the song as well. The next song is Daydream and for Daydream I choose Last Bus to Everland by Sophie Cameron. This is a YA speculative fiction I guess you could say a little bit of like fabulous elements. This has a male romance at the center of it and this is a book that's about this boy who discovers this portal world and I just love this book a lot because it was very complex when it comes to handling this portal world. While it has these like fabulous elements and while it is like a speculative fiction, at the end of the day this very much reads like a contemporary because of the themes in it. It has a lot of family themes in there, friendship and just in general just like you know relationships between people and then it also has this really really big theme of like escapism just looking at escapism the different ways of escapism and just looking at that through all kinds of different lenses and just like in all kinds of different ways and to me that just very much fit daydream and like obviously you know like daydream mentions hogwarts and stuff like that as well so i guess it's kind of like easy to kind of just think about like all oh, this escape into another world but i think you know 
all of these songs, they are so multi-layered and Hobie looks at everything that he talks about in his songs in so many different ways. And all of the songs kind of like highlight not only like one issue, it just looks at things in a very multifaceted way. And that is what Last Bus to Evelyn is for me as well. And just also how, you know, escapism or like these portal worlds, how it represents something good for some people and something not so good for some people. Just what it does with you, what it does to you and how it might influence you. And there's so many layers in Last Bus to Everland as well. And there's just so much below the surface, like more than you would think maybe if you first pick it up. And it just really almost has this like critical look at Portal Fantasy and just again, like what it does to you and that there's like negative things about it as well. And so I just very, very much like this choice. Maybe my favorite out of all of them. It's kind of hard to say but I think that I like this one the most because this was one of the things where like I read through the lyrics and the book kind of came to me immediately. Whereas for a lot of the other songs, I kind of had to more search for it, look at my bookshelves, look at my Goodreads. And this one, I read through the lyrics and I was kind of just like, I think this is the book that I want to choose. And I think that's why I just feel very, very happy with this one. And this is another book, not without flaws for sure. The romantic storyline is not my favorite. It's not bad. It's just, I think it was a little bit like fast moving. Uh, I just wanted a little bit more from that. But still, I think that it is a really, really good book that I recommend and another one that is very underrated. Then for Baseline, I decided to go with On the Come Up by Andy Thomas. Now, this is the book that I almost choose for Piece of Peace because I think that on the Come Up is another book that with its representation very much just, you know, portrays a piece of peace for a lot of people. And I just think that it very much just means so much to so many people and is something so important for so many people. But for me, the vibe with Peace of Peace didn't really fit with On The Comma. But then when I read through the lyrics of Baseline and just read about, you know, how much it is about just like hard work and, you know, going places and reaching places because you've been working hard and you've had this dream that you've kind of been holding on to, that's when I was like, maybe this is where I should choose On The Come Up for. And that's what I decided to do. Again, like, I think that it fits the book, like the lyrics fit the, the content of the book and the main character in On The Come Up is so hardworking and has this dream that she wants to achieve. And so she works hard for it. And, you know, she also very much just in this book comes to a place where like she doesn't care about you know the haters and just completely puts herself out there and just really is like so unapologetic about her and her dreams and her music and so I just thought that fit very much but then I also just think that the vibe of the song in and of itself and the vibe of Baseline is something that I love for On The Come Up as well. Like I can, this is another one where I'm like, I can imagine reading On The Come Up while listening to Baseline. A lot of the songs are obviously like, at least musically, very upbeat and stuff like that. And Baseline feels a little bit more like forward, a little bit more in your face and a little bit I don't want to say darker, but just a little bit, just less bright, less colorful. Let me say it like that. And I just think that that kind of fits on the come up. And I definitely think that on the come up has a lot of messages about like hope and stuff like that as well. And again, we, we definitely see that in the lyrics, but I just think that for this song and just like the rap elements that we have in the book itself, I just thought that they were kind of like a really, really good match, both lyrically and musically as well. And next we have Hang Sang. And for that, I decided to go with something that I don't know if I can explain why I choose this series, but I will try my best. I decided to go with the whole His Fairy Assassin trilogy, or rather this whole, like there's obviously a new duology, the Coding Darkness duology attached to this as well. You can definitely include that in here too. So this is a YA historical fantasy series. And I very much knew that for this song, I wanted 
a book or a series that has big themes of like found family. So that's definitely a check mark when it comes to this series. And that's also why I am choosing this whole series because each of these books focuses on a different main character, but it's all three of them together and how they kind of grew up together and what they're kind of achieving together. That is what really fits the song for me. The other reason why I ended up choosing this series, and this is where I'm like, I'm not sure if I'm able to explain what I'm trying to say, but this series is very much about these three girls finding their place in the world. It is about reclaiming their space in the world. It is about reclaiming the places that are rightfully theirs, that have been taken from them. And that is both in the case of like an actual, you know, person who's supposed to rule a land or a town that kind of got taken from her, but also just in the sense of them like reclaiming their bodies or, you know, them being supposed to like be married off to people and instead just, you know, doing their own thing and going their own path and just deciding for themselves, you know, what they're gonna do with their lives and where they're gonna go and not having other people tell it to them or having other people you know, decide that for them. And I think that you can definitely see all of that in this song. I think when you first kind of read through the lyrics, it just kind of seems like, you know, it's a little bit like, almost like, I want to say like, cocky, I guess, where it's like, oh, like, you know, now we're making money and we're like these big people and like talking about Gucci bags and stuff like that. But if you really like take a close look at those lyrics, it's so much about like, we have always deserved to be in this space and you know it's always just been something that we've worked hard towards and it's like rightfully where we belong like we belong at the top this is where we're supposed to be and so even though <laughs> when you read through the lyrics you know you're just kind of like looking at what it says in there and obviously like the lyrics are like about fame and stuff like that and this is a, like a very different situation but i think that the the theme is very much the same. And so this is actually another choice that even though I'm finding it a little bit hard to explain, is another choice that I'm just really, really happy with. And again, for me, what was really, really important about this song in particular was kind of like a found family theme. And this one that's so important in here with these girls, you know, who go to this fucking assassin school, but also with the people that they meet along their way and just like where all of these characters are at the end of this series or even in this new duology, they all have just really, you know, have like a found family and they are family to each other and so I thought that was a really important element and like these girls they would be nowhere without this found family they would be nowhere without each other they can't do this on their own everything that they do it works because they are a unity because they are working together and so I just thought that it was a really really good choice for this song even though it might not seem all that obvious at first. Next we have Airplane and with Airplane I went for a very on-brand choice and I'm hoping that I'll be able to explain why I decided to end up going with this book. Airplane was the one that I struggled with the most funnily enough. I didn't think it would be that hard but it ended up being pretty hard but in the end <laughs> I went with A Gathering of Shadows by V. Schwab as I said a very on-brand choice but a choice that to me, once I kind of started making the connections, just seemed very right. Obviously Airplane, you know, very much just talks about like dreams and achieving those dreams. You know, like there's this whole metaphor of the airplane and it just reminded me of Lila Bard, who had always dreamed of becoming a pirate and then we end up, you know, seeing her on a ship in A Gathering of Shadows and her being a pirate and just the whole path that she goes on in this book and where she goes in this book and how much she kind of like learns about herself and how much she just achieves her dreams and makes her dreams come true. Like that's the thing. Everything that Lila does, and I think that is so very Hobie in his essence, everything that Lila does, it does not get just handed to her. Everything Lila does, everything she achieves, she does through hard work. This is why she is where she is. She does it 
because she is a hard worker. She's willing to really, really, really work towards her dreams and her goals. And she does that in a lot of cunning ways, but it is hard work. And so I just think that that vibe very much fits just Hobie in general. But I just think that, especially in this context, just like thinking of the airplane and how in Lila's case it's a ship and how much that ship represents, just as the airplane represents so much for Hobie, I just thought it was a perfect fit. And a fit that once again, I started making the connections, I was like, this is actually absolutely perfect. And finally, we have Blue Side. Blue Side is obviously a really short song. It's the outro, but Blue Side is my favorite of the whole mixtape. I was kind of like scared. I was like, I think Blue Side is gonna give me a lot of trouble. Obviously, it doesn't give too much to us lyrically, but I knew from the beginning that for Blue Side, I would want to go with something that very much represents the vibe of this song for me more than the lyrics. Again, because the lyrics don't give us that much, but also because I just love the vibe of the song and I just love the song and I just knew that it was very important for me that the book would be a book that I would read while I would listen to this song and that the book and the song would be something that made me feel very similar. But still, I was kind of like sitting there. I was like, I don't know what to choose. This is so hard. Like, I just love this song so much. I don't know if there is a book that will represent to me what this song represents to me. And then I was talking to Malis, you know, who's also doing this. And I was kind of like typing, the song is so short, but so powerful. And that's when it clicked. And I ended up going with This Is How You Lose The Time War for Blue Side. It was just this moment where it just clicked for me and like things just fell into place where, you know, it just came to me because I thought of like short but powerful, which is this book to a T. It has like 200 pages, but it, it's, it's an incredible book. It 100% fits the vibe for me, 100%. I would listen to Blue Side like on repeat while reading this book. It fits perfectly. I love this book as much as I love this song and they do give me very similar vibes and they do both just make me feel just a lot of emotions and just make me feel very strongly. And then on top of that, one of the main characters is called Blue. So it just really ended up being the perfect book. And once I came up with that choice, like once that just kind of came into my mind, there was no other way. There was nothing else I could choose for it because again, like this is exactly what I wanted. Just like having the vibe of this song represented like that. Just again, it just very much feels the same to me. So yeah, these were my Hope World book recommendations. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you were able to understand where I was coming from with all of my choices. Again, I'm so excited to see everybody else's videos. I will leave links to all of the other channels down below, plus the playlist with everybody's videos. So please, please, please check out everybody else's. I think that's the most fun about all of this, just seeing everybody's different choices and obviously getting some amazing book recommendations on the way. So yeah, let me know what you thought about my choices and if you understood where I was coming from and yeah I make new videos hopefully at least once a week <laughs> so click subscribe to never miss anything and hit the little bell so you get notified as well and thank you so so much for watching I guess I'll see you soon bye